I'm Sebastian Enrique, a developer of FIFA. I know your game. Yeah, they, they are the what we call the trinity of gameplay. One of them is precision dribbling. Uh, the precision dribbling is uh, being able to dribble with more precision, like uh, in small spaces, especially with, with players with big attributes on dribbling, like uh, Messi. Uh, then we have like uh, the player impact engine, that is uh, a collision and physics system that allow us to, to have more emergent behavior, knowing exactly. Uh, we are the collisions are happening and frame to frame we can detect the output of the animation so everything looks more believable uh, and then the, the other thing we have is the tactical defending uh, that to me is the most important change because uh, with the mechanic of, of how to defend changed now instead of rushing towards the goal the players do a contain and it became more of a skills uh, to defend and, and it's more rewarding uh, when you take the ball out from the other players and it changes a lot the pace of the game it allows like uh, attacking players also to to try to have more ball possession because the defending is more tactical now uh, it changes the pace of the game for good uh, we didn't slow the speed itself of the game so we kept the same speed as last year for what we call the speed of the game but the the pace of the game changed with the changes that we have made uh, because the, the tactical defending gives you more space to move the ball around and uh, it, you are not so forced to do like the ping pong passing is how we call it as uh, last year because you, you don't have as much pressure because when the defenders come to you if they commit uh, too late or too early they are gonna miss uh, and you can go and pass them so what became the game is, uh, is that the defenders try to uh, really pace really well and then try to commit to the tackle uh, so you have more opportunity to, to hold the ball and to do a play and to think what you want to do when you're attacking so it doesn't force you to pass the ball and, and it feels that it's slower uh, but it's the pace that, that the new balance between attacking and defending produces. Online mode for the people that like to play head to head online uh, there are two main things so we, we completely rework what was a, the unranked head-to-head uh, -head, and we call that online friendlies and in online friendlies we, tag, we uh, track all the activities with your friends and, and you play to become a champion uh, against your friends uh, it's, it's really a nice wrapper um, because you can now see who's doing better who's doing uh, uh, badly against uh, all your friends and then for what is ranked head-to-head -head, what we did is head-to-head uh, -head seasons uh, instead of playing just for a single worldwide ranking uh, everything is divided in 10 divisions, so you start in Division 10 and you get 3 points for a win, 1 point for a draw, no points for a loss and what you do is you have, like for example, out of 10 games you need to make uh, 12 points in order to be able to get promoted and once you get promoted you, get, you can get relegated as well uh, when you match up, you match up with people that are playing on your same divisions and you can also play for cups uh, so it's, it's a lot of work that we did online to, to, uh, to have more like a uh, immediate and, and achievable uh, things and, and to keep more people engaged every time. No, for the future I, I, can't, I can't really mention so they don't let me mention anything for the future but let me tell you that so we have two big lists so one list is all the new things that we want to do and the other list is all the things that we want to improve uh, or, or fix uh, or, or make like a complete overhaul so it's a uh, it's a balance. It's always trying to find a balance of what are the new things that we want to do and, and all the things that we want to uh, improve, refine and add more depth. But I, I'm sorry, but I can't really tell you.